what's going on my sweet fellow jewelers look what we're making today look at this oh my gosh i think it's so cute oh my goodness and i had to do two different colors to show you just how cool it really was when i did one color i was like hey no one can really see that so i was looking through pinterest this week and i was like show me something give me some inspiration i'm dying and i found a bracelet that looked pretty much like this so i was like i gotta try it out and it was so easy with the help of my husband because i was like which way do we go like where the strands go and stuff so with his help i was able to figure it out i was like i gotta teach you guys so that's what we're doing today easy peasy beaded bracelet jewelry making I got you but before we get started making this fabulous bracelet make sure you subscribe my channel click the bell get notifications because I love teaching you how to make jewelry that's right I do beaded jewelry but I also do resin jewelry I got your back and all that so you and me let's get this beady party bracelet started party started <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we want to make two strands um, that we can combine together. And so the first strand I already made, I made it eight inches. Again, like you're gonna have to decide um, how many inches you want, how big you want the bracelet um, by making two eight inch strands and then we will go from there. So the first one's already made. Um, I am using a 0.3 millimeter wire and I am going to string my beads. I'm gonna do a fast forward for you. So just compared my two strands and they're not exactly the same, you want them exactly the same. So if they're not, make sure they are and then keep going. They are done. I made them the exact same length. Now, tip of the day for you for making this bracelet, the beads you want pretty much as close as you can the exact same size. You may do the same bead for both strands, but because I wanted to make a really distinctness between two strands, I chose two different colors and I made and I had them be as close in size as possible. The size is important because it'll kind of just throw off your whole bracelet if you don't do similar sizes or exact same size. So now that we have um, my strands, I am going to put, I love these, I leave my clamshells, the clamshell on, and now I'm gonna put my uh, crimping bead on. First side is super easy. Like you're gonna be able to crimp exactly where you want it, put some glue on there, mwah, and get going. But the second side is a little bit harder. So the first side, let me show you. All you need is your, um, your pliers, and I'm gonna put it flush. I'm gonna put it flush to my crimping bead so it's just kind of barely sticking out right and then I'm gonna bring my um, clamshell up and before I crimp it I'm gonna get super glue don't get the liquid kind get the gel kind and the super glue actually I have found it keeps it way better I have found the times I don't super glue it it um it falls apart I don't know why I don't know why it does I'm do I don't know if I'm just wild on my my jewelry but I feel like um Ooh, I put way too much in there. <laughs> it kind of, it squirted all out. You don't want to do that. Put just a little dab will do ya. Okay, and now we're going to bring this side over. And I'm going to cut just like this. With this, right, you, you want it... To, to be very loose, right? It's kind of like the Goldilocks. Did you ever like hear the story of the Goldilocks and the three bears? She went to try the porridge, one was too hot, one was too cold, one was just right. Then she went to try the bread, beds. One was too hard, one was too soft, one was just right. When you when you um, are putting your your last clasp on, right? Your little, your last um, crimping bead on, you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too tight because then it won't bend right. And it'll kind of make kinks in it, it's kind of weird. But, you don't want to make it too loose either. If you make it too loose, there'll be gaps and it'll be really ugly. So you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. You want it just right. Remember Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you got me? So I'm going to get my, um, my clamshell first and then we're going to um, put the crimping bead on. And so I want to make sure that I have it kind of, when I'm going to crimp it, I want it um, I want it in the U shape so I know I didn't do it too tight. And so now I'm going in with my um, with my long nose pliers. I don't want this too tight. I want it just right. Ooh, we did it just right. <laughs> Goldilocks, here we come. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. That makes me so happy. I did it too tight the other day and I had to redo the whole thing. It was awful. Um, so now we're going to want to take 
Just a little dab will do ya. Don't go too much, Des. Okay, and now we're going to close up. Close up. Oh, I like my my these these cutters because it go because you want to cut off the excess of your wire just like that. Yes. Oh, we're doing it. So now the tricky part. Now my husband, I had asked my husband a lot, like, how do you do that? How do you like put them together? He's like, do I have to come on the video for you? I'm like, sure, my audience will love you. Come on the video with me. So I might have to call my husband. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put them like this, make sure they're even, right? And now the one on the bottom, we're going to bring it around and, and under. So bring it around and under, do you see that? So it's on the bottom, bring it around and under. We're gonna do the same thing. Bring it over the top and under. <gasps> do you see that? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and make sure that these guys are equal. You want these guys to be equal. You want these puppies to be equal, okay? So now, oh, comes the final part. We're almost there. I'm so excited. I love this bracelet. So now, we're going to take two pliers. I have my snub nose and I have my crooked nose. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna take this side and we're gonna put um, our jump ring. I open my jump ring and I'm gonna put both, I'm gonna put both of these beauties on there. Just like that, don't pull it too hard because you don't want, <laughs> you're trying to, trying to be careful. And you're going to, I'm shaking, I don't know why I'm shaking. <laughs> and you're going to uh, close it up just right. You have to make it so they're touching. Don't make it so they're just barely, because even the barely, like like things will get through that. Um, don't leave a gap, don't cross them. Have them be like, you know, face to face, because I don't know, whatever, right? So make sure it's closed, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna open our jump ring using our two pliers. Open our jump ring. We're going to put it on. Yes, put them both through. Yes, it does matter which one goes first because you don't want to overcross them. Okay, I gotta make sure. There we go. <gasps> we're almost done and we're gonna have a gorgeous bracelet. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So now you got both your jump rings on here and now just on one side, just don't, you only need to do one side. We're gonna put our clasp on. Okay, so we're gonna open one more jump ring. One more jump ring. We're gonna put our clasp on. And it doesn't matter what side, doesn't matter what side. And we're gonna close it up. <gasps> and there, my fellow jewelers, you have a gorgeous, fabulous bracelet. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that so fun? <gasps> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I hope that was so easy for you. If it wasn't, send me some comments. Get, ask me some questions. I love answering your questions. Also, I am selling those beads, so make sure to check that out. I have a little merch store for beads and jewelry and all that stuff. And but it's the end of my video, and so I love praying for my viewers. That's right, I love praying for you. And the Lord was wanting me to um, be transparent with you, which I don't mind, but this one's a little kind of, um, I don't share with everybody. So I struggle at times with depression. I struggle at times, like even making this video was super hard for me because I was super heavy and depressed and just didn't want to do it. Um, sometimes uh, for me, I find the depression comes with circumstance and sometimes I find it comes with spiritual warfare. Like before we're about to do something um, for God that is big or that is going to be really impactful, I get hit really hard with depression and stuff. And he just wants you to know that depression is nothing to be ashamed about. It's nothing to even hide um, from the right people because not everybody deals with it correctly. But there are people in your life that um, can walk you through it. And sometimes um, sometimes for me, it takes being in the presence of God, worshiping him, putting on worship music, because it says put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Sometimes I've had to have counseling through it. Sometimes it's okay to take medicine. Can I tell you? Like, it's okay to take medicine. Like God is in medicine. He's in like natural healing. He's in miracles. You know what I'm saying? He's in it all. And so if you struggle with depression, like don't 
don't hide, like don't hide it from people. Get the help you need in order to get through it because there is another side. Some, I know some people it's years, some people it's seasonal, some people it's a season and stuff, but I just wanna encourage you that if you struggle with depression, don't beat yourself up and don't hide. The best thing you can do is to get the help you need. Okay. So I'm going to pray for you because God, God, he loves you and he's not condemning you. It's not condemnation. Um, he loves you and he wants to help walk you through it. And sometimes that means different ways than other people. Sometimes it does mean medicine. Sometimes it means counseling. Sometimes it means just praise and worshiping. Okay. So I'm going to pray for you. God, I thank you for my viewers. God, I pray for those that struggle with depression. God, it sucks. Oh my gosh, Lord, it sucks. And so Lord, I pray God that you would send the right resources to them. God, I pray you send the right people because not everybody understands what it's like to be depressed. And so Lord, I pray for the right people in their life that will speak life over them, that won't condemn them, that won't shame them. That won't. I, I, speak, I speak against everybody that's ever shamed you or condemned you or guilted you into thinking that you're not good enough or you, or you should be able to just get out of it. I just rebuke that and I just, God, I I ask that you take every lie spoken over them, every shame spoken over them, and ask that you would just wash it away in Jesus' name. God, I ask that you would show them the right avenue for them. God, every person is different, Lord. Every person is different. God, I pray for those that need medicine, that you would show them the right doctor to go to, the right medicines. God, I pray, or the right people to help them with the medicines. God, I pray for those that just need counseling to walk through some really hard times. Lord, walk through some really brokenness. God, that you send the right counselors. God, for those that are in spiritual warfare right now, God, I pray that you'd uh, help them put on the armor, help them put on the spirit of praise, God, that they would be able to withstand the, the attacks of the enemy, God, whatever it is, however this depression is for each one of my viewers, God, I pray that you would just help them to get out and help them through the season and walk them through it, Lord. You love them, God. This is not condemnation. This is not um, them not trusting in you and having enough faith. This is sometimes just having to walk through it. And I, for those that you want to bring miracle right now, I just speak against depression and I say, be gone in Jesus name. God, thank you so much that you're with us and that you love us in Jesus name. Amen. Guys, don't be ashamed of your, if you're going through depression, don't be ashamed of it. Ask God to help you walk through it and show you which avenue to get through it in Jesus. All right. I already prayed in Jesus name. All right, guys, I love you. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.